Hey everybody, our book today is Trapped, A Whale's Rescue by Robert Burley, and the paintings are by Wendell Miner. Continues with our kind of under the sea theme this week, we've read about a giant squid, the great white sharks off the coast of California, and now a humpback whale. Love the dedication in this book for Ian and Ryan Madden Roberts, who love all creatures of the sea. I know some of my kiddos are, are really interested in marine biology, so these books, I hope they're right up your alley. The huge humpback whale dips and dives, her sleek backside shimmering. She spy hops, lobtails, flashes her flukes. Almost looks like the whale is smiling. I think the painter did that on purpose. Past rocky shores and sandy beaches, from icy Arctic seas to the California coast, she feeds on masses of tiny krill in the food-rich water. This kind of reminds me of the Farallon Islands off, off the coast of California that we read about yesterday. We know that great white sharks eat, um, well, they eat the seals. We know that the squid eats krill, a squid from earlier this week. Towering waves cascade down her leathery back. She arches and leaps, boom! She spanks the cold blue with her powerful tail, bang! Down in the depths, her call echoes. Look at that big whale tail. But wait, danger haunts these waters. Unseen nets left by fishermen drift through the dark sea. The whale feels the tickle of the thin threads. She plunges on. She tosses. She spirals sideways as spidery lines tighten around her. The struggle begins. The web of ropes cuts into her skin. She flails, starts to sink, fights for air. With each thrust of her tail, she tires. Her sides heave. She flops. She flounders. At last, the great whale shudders and lies still. The whale is getting trapped in that net. Trapped. The chug-chug of a motor fills the air. Rescuers! Are they too late? Divers drop cautiously into the frigid water. They know the whale is wild. One quick roll of her immense body can crush. One blow from her giant tail can kill. They have to be very careful if they're going to rescue this whale. The swimmer softly... The swimmers softly pat the whale's rough hump. They stare into her unblinking eye. Carefully, they begin to cut the lines. One rescuer slices the rope that digs into the whale's mouth. Suddenly, the humpback jerks her head. The startled diver backstrokes away and waits. But the whale calms and is still. Others dive deep to free her fins and tail. Slowly the tangled netting falls away. The freed whale starts to swim. She moves among the cheering rescuers, softly nudging each one 
as if saying thanks. Again, the wild ocean is her home. She thrusts herself out of the water, breaches, slaps the surface in a final goodbye. Cheering rescuers. Oh, I love this page. So this is actually based on a real story. The story is based on an actual event. On December 11, 2005, fishermen off the California coast near San Francisco, near the Farallon Islands, all comes together, spot a large humpback whale struggling to free itself from a network of strong ropes attached to crab traps. The fishermen radioed the news to a local marine mammal center. Soon, a group of rescuers, including divers and whale experts, was on the way. Did you know that humpback whales are athletic and playful? Sometimes, oh well, speaking of athletic and playful, it's Assistant Vice Principal Hannah. <laughs> okay. Sometimes they pop their head above the water to look around, spy hopping, or slap their tail on the ocean's surface, lobtailing. Groups of humpback whales often bubble net fish, blowing a swarm of bubbles that confuse their prey. Each humpback whale can be identified by the unique pattern on its fluke or tail. Yes, miss? I'm merely here as her entertainment. Great book. Have a great day, everybody. Take care of yourselves.